Shadow of the Impure here with an update to the video to my last video, which was the arrow room trap. Uh, in that video, I stated that if you knew how to use a pressure plate to trigger a redstone timing circuit, to let me know. Well, after I got home from work with some considered thought, I built this circuit. This circuit uses an inherent timing delay caused by these two repeaters. This repeater has a 4 tick and this repeater has a 2 tick. This repeater allows this, the initial pulse to pass through using this block to conduct. And at the end of the second set of tick delay, the piston pushes it out of alignment to cut off the flow and allow the timer to do the re repetition. The secondary circuit that's built alongside of it is a simple cutoff circuit. I use the switch to put the block in position with a sticky piston, and the sticky piston uses that block to conduct the timing circuit. Let's see it in action. These are only there for delay, as in a trap when someone's walking into a room so that it doesn't start slinging arrows immediately. It has time for an element of surprise. So let's begin. Pulse, 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 delay, push, and there's the timing circuit going with my rapid fire arrow launcher. Again, simple redstone uh, repeater circuit with a repeater set at a three tick interval, set in a position where the repeater stays lit, which causes the arrows to fire out at a very high rate of speed. And when I want to cut it off, all I have to do is flip the switch, and the circuit goes dark. I looked all over the internet for information about this, and I could not find any. So I figure, if you can't find it, make it. So if you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comment section below the video. And as always, feel free to uh, like my video, subscribe to my channel. Uh, go crazy. Uh, again, I'm going to be doing this kind of on and off with what spare time I can get my hands on. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great night.